Hello, this is Tim from Mythic Kingdom, and today we have Rio. Hi, Rio. So, uh, Rio, when she was born, we weren't sure whether she was a powder puff or a super hairy. I thought she was a super hairy, and Tim, can you show people her, her, uh, just part some hair on her oh, okay. body? So you can easily see her skin, and she doesn't have an undercoat. She does not have an undercoat at all. Yeah, and her, yeah, so, and her underside is very skimpy. So we just, yeah, there, yeah, you see it. So we just asked her mom and dad whether uh, she should be uh, left with just the paddle puff trim or a nudie. So we're doing a nudie. Okay, so we're so, doing she's, a Yeah, and she's eight weeks today. Eight weeks? July 29th. Oh, you're so old. Are you old? Are you old? Okay. So we're going to get used to the buzzer. Okay, you want to turn it on first? Okay, That's not so bad, is it? Okay. No, <laughs> you don't like the buzzer. Okay. Not everyone likes the buzzer. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. You ready? Okay. So. We're going to start always on the same side, we do it the same way, and because she's a mythic dog, she will come fully trimmed. Can you actually stand here? Uh, she's a mythic puppy, so she will come perfectly trimmed when you get her. You know, we actually spoke to the mom, and wanted to make sure that she had the cut that she wanted. And also, depending on where you live, if you live where it's very cold, you can let a super hairy um, crested body hair grow out in the winter. This way they have some warmth. Um, and then just uh, give them a um, buzz down in the springtime. Or just keep them trimmed or keep them long. Or, or, or. So there are a lot of different <laughs> options. Okay. But no matter what, I definitely like the face trim because I like them clean so you can kiss them. And, and they don't have like food stuff them, stuck on their you face. You don't like food stuff on your face. Okay. And we're going to buzz the ears? Yes, please. Okay, we're going to put our finger in the ear and buzz it right against her finger just like that. Then trim the edges just like that, nice and easy. Okay, always go away from the center. Okay, and then you can go down towards the head. There you go. And so the difference things. between a super hairy like Rio and a powder puff is that, again, a powder puff has a double layer. So they have like the human hair and then a very soft cottony layer underneath that. So when they get a nudie or pony cut, meaning the body hair is taken off, um, you definitely see the cottony layer on the skin, so you don't see the skin. It looks like um, it looks like cut velvet. Let them up, easy. Whereas when super hairies are trimmed, you can definitely see the skin very easily, and there's, you know, it was just the hair that was removed. So Rio's gonna look very different. This is her oh, big yes. transformation. All of that puppy, mm -hmm. puppy color is going to come off. Good girl, Rio. Okay, good girl, sweetie. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh, wow. You're going to be, you're going to be so much more comfortable with all that off anyway. So for our adults, like, I love Powder Puff Girls. So, um, they definitely get a trim up in the springtime as soon as it's warm enough. They get a nudie cut. And then, uh, you know, they're just kept short like that. And then they'll get their very last trim. Because we're in northwest New Jersey, probably, what, like October, October September, so. depending on, yeah, we on the weather. Yeah, hit October, depending on how cold it actually is. Yeah. And then we'll let the body hair grow out all winter until the next spring. This way they have, you know, just a little extra layer because 
Preston's prefer warmer than cold. I mean, Powder Puffs are definitely not little divas like the hairless version, especially the true hairless, because again, they have so, so much bare skin that, you know, they get very cold easily, or they can get sunburn, or, I don't know, if somebody's playing with them a little too rough, they can get bite marks on them. So now you can see as Rio's body hair is being trimmed, she is a pink and a palomino underneath. <laughs> yes, she is. Yeah, so all the areas where you saw white body hair, the skin is pink, and all the areas where you saw the red with some of the black, um, which was all growing out to like a very pale blonde, you can see the palomino coloring. So when Rio goes out in the sunlight, the Palomino spots will get very dark. But the pink spot could burn. So again, you know, you really shouldn't be leaving your crestas out, first of all, unsupervised. I mean, they are very tiny. I think Rio is the biggest of, is she the biggest of the She's sisters? The biggest of all the sisters. Yeah, so... She is, I think, what is she, like only one pound, four ounces at eight weeks? Uh, I think it was 1.5. Like yeah. Okay. But it's very, you know, so yeah, pretty much close. So again, you know, they're tiny and so, you know, birds of prey or coyotes or anything to get them. So you never leave them outside unsupervised, even if your yard is completely fenced and six feet tall. We don't care. Just don't leave them out. Because you don't want to get snacked. That'd be bad. Yeah. And again, you know, it's just like yourself for human babies. You take them out um, before the noonday sun or after in the afternoon. And you can always put on a cotton shirt, pajama, or a dress, or a sun, um, sun, sun shirt. But we definitely don't believe in using uh, baby sunblock. I know some Cresta families use that, but... Again, that's a lot of chemicals, right? And that's not good. It's better to just prevent. Good girl, sweetie. And Rio is very affectionate. She, oh, she loves yeah. She actually likes to uh, snuggle up to the neck. You're such a good girl. She is a good girl. There you go, sweetheart. Yeah, you can see how skimpy the hair right around there inner thigh is. Whereas if she was a powder puff, that would be really, really dense. But again, her mommy and daddy know that they can just let her body hair grow out and she's still going to look beautiful because she has even amount of body hair and not the patchy hairlessness. Look at that, Rio. You're almost done. That was so fast. Mm -hmm. That was so quicky, quicky. I know, sweetie. She's looking a little annoyed, but it's okay. Yeah, she's been so good. You've been very good. Yeah, you I can see really how. Yeah, that. you can see how uh, sparse her chest hair is. Oh, my fat head's in the way. So Rio's mom and dad, I believe they're not going to be grooming her. Or, uh, the Powder Puff Boy's name is Maestro, Mythic Maestro. So I think they're going to take them both to the groomer, but we wanted to... Yeah, we you know. always like to make sure the groom use them before they leave. Yeah, well, just they're not going to go for a while, but we just want to yeah. use Rio as a model to show what a tiny little eight-week-old puppy, the, how, how they do. You're doing great, sweetie. You're, you're very Look patient. Yes, you're very patient. 
So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit while Tim is doing this to show you the actual skin that there is no fuzz of the powder puff. Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, good girl. Move that tail out of the way. Yes, yes. good girl. Okay, so let's put all look at them is gorgeous. You so look we can take oh. a picture. Yeah, so uh, with Rhea, we took a picture before Tim started uh, doing her grooming. And we'll take the same exact picture, or try to, with her after. So you can tell, you can see... And she literally looks like a new girl. Oh How's your face? Okay. So, inspection. Oh, oh this is spot. Right here. Did you miss it on the other side too? Yep, you missed the same spot. Yeah, I'm so bad I'm watching her instead of watching where the camera's focusing. Oh, well, that's not okay. uh, I don't want to see the okay. puppy. Now you wipe off around the eyes. There you above go. Above the eyes. Around the ears. Yeah, and then I'll give you a bath. The feet. Yes, we definitely I'll give you a, a massage bath. bath. Oh, a massaging bath. Ooh. She has some hair on her left side of her crust. Oh. There you go. There. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh so my goodness, Rio. Okay. Yeah, a little bit Can more. You want to do it? So now you can see how fast it is. It's very easy. I mean, obviously Tim's been doing it for a long time, but you yes, know, if you're just very enough, patient, I think, right? You have to be patient, yeah, and most just, importantly, don't just, grab yeah. your buzzer. Or it's the puppy, actually, yeah. Or the puppy, and, and it loose. looks like I'm actually holding the puppy very hard. The puppy can actually slide out, and when I'm holding the face, okay, it's the same thing. The puppy can actually yeah. slide out. You can lift by the cheeks if you have to. Okay, you can move the face by just pushing on the side of the face like this. Okay, you don't have to grab the puppy. Okay, when you're doing the ears, you put your finger in gently into the ears like this. Okay, and my hand is open. I'm not holding the face at all. So it goes like this, and you buzz. Oh, I missed a spot there too. Holy smoke. Okay, we all miss spots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I think the left, the, on the side of the crust, it, it doesn't look even. It looks choppy. Oh on the side, goodness. see? There's different layers. Oh. What I'm seeing. Like literally uh, right there. Right here? Yeah, it's all, it looks choppy. Oh, okay. It's not. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not even. I don't like that. Let's take this one. Can you pull it? Can you move your face? Oh, this side too. Okay. How's it? Let's see. Okay, left side looks good. Can I see the right side? Her right side. Okay, that looks better. I mean, it's a little choppy. But it's alright. It'll grow. Okay. okay, gorgeous girl. Then we're going to take some pictures. Same exact pictures. And then we'll do regular eight-week puppy pictures, okay? <laughs> alright. Say bye-bye. Rio! Mm -hmm.